Hello and welcome to another edition of Sports International. Glad to have you. Iran claimed another gold medal in the 2015 World Taekwondo Championships, which is currently underway in the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. And this time, Masoud Hajizavare claimed the top spot in the under 74 kg category in the competition. Hajizavare overcame rivals from Algeria, Croatia, Spain, Mexico, and hosts Russia before taking on the 2014 Asian Games silver medalist Nikita Rafalovic from Uzbekistan. Aziz Avare managed to display a superb performance, leading 4-0 in the second round. He managed to continue his dominance in the next round as well, extending his lead to 9-4. Rafalovic managed to cut the deficit towards the end of the final round, but it wasn't enough, losing the bout 9-7. This is Iran's second gold medal at the tournament, with Fazan Ashruzadeh bagging Iran's first gold. Holders Sevilla have cruised into the Europa League final by beating Fiorentina 2-0 at the Artemio Franchi Stadium and recording a comfortable 5-0 aggregate win over the Italians in the semi-finals. The home side, who were coming off a 3-0 defeat at the hands of Sevilla in the first leg, needed to score the first in order to keep their slim hopes of a comeback alive. However, goals from Carlos Baca and also Daniel Sariso in a five-minute spell during the first half killed off the ambitions of turning the tie. Serbia, who are looking to become the first club to lift the trophy on four occasions, will now face Nipro in the final in Warsaw on May the 27th. A Spanish court has ruled unlawful a strike called by the country's football players' union over TV rights, allowing the last round of the season to be played. Spain's High Court announced the decision in a statement on Thursday. Following the announcement, the Spanish Football Federation reversed a suspension of the end of the season. The Players' Union had planned to begin a strike from Saturday to protest a proposed government law on television rights and the distribution of revenues. Barcelona, who lead Real Madrid by four points, can now secure the La Liga title on Sunday if they earn a win over the reigning champions, Atletico Madrid. On to tennis news now and news from the Italian Open where defending champion Novak Djokovic has posted a third round win over Brazilian qualifier Thomas Bellucci to go through to the last eight. The 68th ranked Bellucci made the most of his powerful serves and ground strokes to give the world number one a tough time in the opening set which he took 7-5. However, the serve broke early before taking the second set 6-2 and levelling the match at one apiece. Djokovic then got a decisive break late in the third, which helped him win the set 6-3. The victory ended Djokovic's winning streak to 18 matches and secured him a quarter-final berth in Rome. The Serb will next face fifth seed Kenishikuri of Japan. Meanwhile, Rafael Nadal remained on course for winning the Italian Open for the eighth time by beating big serving American Johnnies. Nadal served out the 6 4 6 4 victory after 80 minutes of play to reach the quarterfinals. Elsewhere, second seeded Roger Federer defeated South Africa's Kevin Anderson 6 3 7 5 to reach the quarters. Surprisingly, the Swiss maestro is bidding to lift the Italian Open trophy for the first time. That's while Spain's David Ferrer converted five of his 11 breakpoints against fellow countryman Guillermo Garcia Lopez to reach the last eight with a 6-1, 6-3 win in 86 minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Britain's Andy Murray has pulled out of the tournament in Rome because of fatigue. Now, Murray announced his withdrawal on Thursday, just a couple of hours ahead of his match against David Goffin, saying he needed to rest his body. The world number three, who is enjoying a run of ten successive wins on clay, will now resume his preparation for the upcoming French Open. The 27-year-old, who had previously considered skipping the Italian Open altogether, had defeated Jeremy Chardy 6-4, 6-3 in the previous round. Over to cycling news now. As German rider Andre Greppel has won stage six of the Giro d'Italia, while race leader Alberto Contador, who uh, well basically was caught up in a crash towards the finish line, Greppel 
edged out Matteo Pellucci and Sasha Modolo in a sprint finish to emerge victorious in the 183 kilometer stage on Thursday. Meanwhile, a crash in the final 300 meters of the stage brought down half of the peloton, including Contador. The incident occurred as the Italian rider, Daniel Colli, hit the camera lens of a spectator who was leading over the barriers, or leaning over the barriers rather, to take a photograph. The Italian was taken to hospital and Contador suffered what appeared to be a shoulder injury. Well, there you go. That's it from the sports desk and that's it from me. Goodbye.